And there we go. Greetings, everybody. BJ Weller back with you for episode 77 of the Elonian Adventures. Picking up quite literally uh, where we left off last episode here in the Ruptured Heart. Trying to track down some pilgrim ghosts here to uh, help them to Augury Rock, which uh, we, of course, are quite familiar with from... Uh, the very first campaign of Guild Wars prophecies where our heroes at the time needed to go to Augury Rock to ascend in order to fight the undead leech or some other or something to that effect I think we actually had to ascend to help the leech unleash the Titans because he betrayed us Of course, uh, Zarafin here, not quite familiar with that yet. He has not yet left his the continent of Alona. Of course, he's right next to these things. At least these ghosts don't need to survive. That's always a... Uh, oh, ah, that's what the beach bones are all about. Okay. So I kind of thought they had a uh, to do with that. It's funny again. I, I've said this several times throughout our Elonian adventure series that I have little to no memory of a lot of these quests, which is surprising because, of course, it was the the aside from the Eye of the North expansion, one of the you know the most recent campaign that uh, was released and I would have gone through. But it's funny, I, I remember more of prophecies and nightfall quests and missions or prophecies and uh, factions and night, uh, quests and missions than I do of nightfalls. I missed what Cram was saying, but eh, why are we not surprised here? So let's go... You know, I guess we can go this way, because we've already run down this way, yes. So hopefully the, the advantage of doing this quest now is that there uh, should be a lot less fighting we have to do since we've cleared out a lot of the mobs already running back and forth here. Ooh. Oh, goodness. It was a rough week in the work for me, and it's turning out to be a rough week. Jesus. Can't wait for this week to be over with. Oh, there she is. Because here, the dunes begin to all look the same. Really? Yeah, they kind of look all different to me. But, eh, whatever. Wandered in circles for what felt like days. Of course, if these are all the pilgrims who were following uh, Tara Asa, rations ran dry with little food. No wonder the desert consumed us after scorching our skin. These are pilgrims with Tara Asa. Uh, the entirety of the Crystal Desert and this area would have changed since then. How many ghosts does it tell us? Escort the ghost to the spot where Crown fell. Guide the wandering spirits to Laura's last resting place. Walk to the spot where Chandra and her daughter were lost. Okay. Uh, let's just avoid those guys. There you go, baby lot.
Animal bones, where are you? There's the one. So hot. My lips burned and skin cracked. The pain was excruciating. I would imagine so. I did not realize my little girl had left my side to look down and saw she was missing. So I broke from the line to look for her. Sandstone quickly covered her small tracks. It was through sheer luck that I found her hiding behind a rock. Our reunion was very sweet. Though we were together, we were alone. We never found the caravan and died the next day. How sad. Uh, with Shahin to complete the pilgrimage right. And he is... Yes. He is the one we've got to get to. Alright. Once again. Yeah, definitely don't envy having to fight those two worms again. So, yeah, I'm glad I decided to do this one now. Tracking, but it sort of pays off in the end anyway. This is something I would have done if it was one of those quests where you had to keep the NPCs alive. That certainly makes it a lot easier to uh, follow. Follow the the path you would have to go to uh, towards uh, completing the quest and eliminate all the mobs beforehand. Up here, we'll warm up and go see uh, go see Mr. Uh... Hey, how are you? Hey, RTR Deuce, long time no see. Doing good, go and good. Just hanging in there, really. Come on, get swallowed. There we go. I think everybody's wormed up, right? Yep. Wormed up. Let's go talk to this guy now. And I... Well... I think I can, I think I can speed up a little bit here. Let everybody catch up to me. At least lost heroes in soft first because they didn't warm up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's it constant. It's a constant battle. A couple episodes ago when I uh, was actually able to stream during the day with Kat Kumi, uh, yeah, it happened then. We both had heroes, and, and about half of them didn't warm up. We didn't realize it till we were out in the wastes, and all of a sudden, everybody died. And we're like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Yep, the wonderful AI. All right, everybody's here. Let's go talk to him. You are the same Zarephan Al Musafir that I heard about through the winds. Uh, yeah, and we just met not too long ago. Are you not uh, gathering these lost souls so they might continue their journey to the point of ascension it is a very noble deed. And I thank you for the kind gesture. Please accept this small token as my thanks for releasing my dear friends from torment and sending us back on our journey to Augury Rock. Perhaps we shall see you again someday if you ever choose to journey to that sacred place. Well, at some point, I suppose, Zarephin will. And yet, these ghosts just happen to have some gold in an ancient artifact lying around in their ghostly pockets. Amazing. 
All right, pilgrimage complete. Excellent. All right. Now, let's see if we can actually get ourselves to the Crystal Desert here. I think I think that's what this one quest here is for. Uh, I was just about to run out into the yellow sand without a worm. Do, 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 do. I'm so glad I'm actually able to get two episodes done tonight. Alright. Um, thank you! Get everybody's wormed right. Yep, we should be good to go. Now we can finally head into the Crystal Overlook. Almost an hour and a half later. Well, an hour and a half after we start this venture. About an hour after we uh, first got to the portal. Oh, 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 let's go this way, please. Thank you. Well, I didn't think it was possible, but it looks like... And uh, gives every indication that our Elonian Adventures will be the longest running series in terms of episodes here. So it took us 81 episodes to complete uh, the main story of Prophecies plus the, uh, plus the epilogue, the Titan quests and such. <laughs> Factions only took us, I, if I recall correctly, 47 episodes, so almost uh, almost half of what it did to get through Prophecies. Here we are now at episode 77, and we still have the entire Realm of Torment to get through. And I think there's still a handful of quests in Vabi and uh corner that i will need to do as well some of which i believe uh become available after we finish the final mission your dedication is legendary <laughs> yes indeed you plan on uh the winds of uh change later um yeah i think i think at some point um i'm going to do uh start the guild wars beyond stuff i think i sort of want to do that after uh after i get these guys through after we do our adventures in the north or whatever i end up calling this thing i think i wrote down some working titles for our uh, uh eye of the north adventures and yes, this is the way I want to go. Because that's sort of that's sort of how you have encountered everything. Because I don't, th I think Guild Wars Beyond was after. Um, I don't think they were. I, I think they came out a little bit after Eye of the North. Uh, so technically, you could have finished uh, the entire Eye of the North expansion before Guild Wars Beyond came out. So that's sort of how I want to run through these things, and then I've got to decide what I want to do with the um, with the bonus bonus mission pack, because that's sort of an oddball type uh, thing there. The only things I haven't done are the um, the elite areas yet. Although uh, uh, for uh, my extra life marathon, uh, I did uh, go through. I think it was the underworld. I went through with Cat. Was it the Underworld or the Fisher of Woe? I forget which one we went. I think it was it may have been the Fisher of Woe. Whichever one it was we went through. And almost, almost finished it. Got through most of it, which I was happy about. But that's something I got I gotta I gotta try to work on too, is uh, doing something with the the uh, prophecies and factions elite areas. 
Plus, I think I think there's I think is there an elite for here? I don't remember. Oh, I forgot we got that one quest to finish to in the Bone Palace. Don't want to do that yet. So Chris, Chris, yeah, Chris, Chris will overlook. Uh, I definitely mapped out, so we're good there. I just have to remember where. Of course, I could always do this the easy way and just look up where this thing's at. So I think this is one of the forgotten here. Shan Rod. Keep things nice, simple, and uh, on track here. Shan Rod, no. Okay. Only uh, before completing Family Soul. Well, did I complete Family Soul? Oh, no. Okay. No. That's what we want to go pick up. All right, so this isn't who I'm looking for. So from the mouth of... Okay. Oh, good. She's right here. Essentially, I think. Uh, where does it look like she's at? Right here? Oh, that's right. That uh, I think there's a little village or something here. That's where she's at. But yeah, um... That's sort of, that's sort of the long-term game plan is to, uh... Get get through, eventually get through all the all the content that you can play. We we can play, I guess we could say. Which uh, I mean, my main concern when I start started uh, the Tyrion adventures. What was that now? That would have been 2015, three year, three and a half years ago. Well, three years and two months ago. <laughs> Was to, to at least get through the three main campaigns and get the expansion. Because, you know, at that point, you know, we weren't sure how long, how much longer we'd have Guild Wars. Who, you know, who knew what the, what the future for Guild Wars would hold. But fortunately now, it looks like uh, ArenaNet has every intention of uh, continuing Guild Wars uh, for the inde indefinite future. I mean, we, we got the graphical update not too long ago, and the, and the two devs who are still working on it, um, still working on the game here, uh, actually have quite a few things they want to try to accomplish. So, uh, it's glad to see, you know, we may not be getting new content, but I'm glad to see that at least there, there's a couple people in ArenaNet who still remember this game. And, and it's not not a hundred completely all about Guild Wars 2. Very cool. Hope to be able to watch. Yeah, hope to be able to do it at some point. Sooner rather than later, but God, the way the way time time in my streams are working is very tough anymore. I'm so far behind on my my episode uploads for uh, Elonian Adventures on YouTube. Uh, let me see. Oh, materials? Oh, wait a minute. I need, um... There you are. <coughs> why, 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 why don't you have a quest for me? Unless I've completed this. I may have completed this. All right, I got prophecies. Travel to area C. Okay. So I I may have to get him to prophecies first. Okay. Travel to the area scene, find the bones of her husband, investigate Rochel, strike down Caffet, and see Chandra. So I, sh I guess I should be able to pick it up from her. Initial dialogue. Okay, right. My family, I wish I could have been there for them to help ease their suffering and assuage their fears. 
She doesn't say anything about... Mm-hmm. And don't say anything about having to go to prophecies first. So I may have to get him to prophecies first. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. But it doesn't say anything about that in the quest information here on the wiki. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, either way, she's not going to give me the quest. And I definitely know I didn't uh, complete it because that requires going to prophecies, which we have not done. So it looks like we may have to get to prophecies first. So let's see what he's got. Now, the one one of the sad things, uh, or one of the things I'm, I'm kind of sad about in a way, is that in one of one of the older updates, uh, this is five plat uh, weaponry, huh? Uh, one of the older updates that they did uh, for the game. A few years ago they they removed some of the old beta stuff beta um things like what was it the uh clay brick brick of mud there are a couple of crafting material things that were never used and they eventually uh removed them from the from the vendors and stuff it's always interesting uh when first going through prophecies seeing these things well where do we get it how do we get it What's it used for? It ends up never being used for anything. All right, well, that's that then. So, uh, so much for that. So it looks like, uh, let's go to Bone Palace. Let's go ahead and complete this. This, this quest we finally can complete here. Sticks and stones. So nice for that. And that's it. That's all the quests we need to worry about. Except for the growing threat, which means poisoned outcrop. So we can uh, round this episode out, because uh, we do need to uh, finish exploring the out poisoned outcrops anyway. Which should hopefully... Oh, hello there. I'm a know-it-all. Huh? Which should hopefully... over here get us to 100% cartographer where are we at 98.2 so we didn't gain anything else I didn't think so but all right 1.8 percent let's see how we do here a wata upon closer inspection I can see these glowing shards feature curious inscriptions perhaps we have what we need to unravel their origin no really? And that would be nothing. Okay. Excellent. So I kind of have a feeling we would need to come through there. But yeah, no. Um, we're going to come out of the lair. We have to decide. Yeah, I kind of want to do... Well, I wanted to start... Uh, I'm going the wrong way. My um, Adventures of the North, of course, for uh, I the North's 10th anniversary, but I had wanted to get the Elonian Adventures finished first because there's no way I would be able to try. Uh, I did I did uh, the Tyrion Adventures and uh, the Canton Adventures um, for a bit of time, until I finished the Tyrion Adventures. Uh, for, there was a spot of time where I, I had was doing both of them uh, during my streams and that just got to be a pain to try to get two, you know get at least two of each one uh, or, or one of each one done each week and of course uh, that was back in the days when I had a little bit more time to stream so to, to have tried to have done it now 
it's with Nightfall and uh, I don't know if it would have been a little bit impossible. Right, this is, uh, oh, 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 yeah, I thought to go get them, but you know what? This isn't going to work the way I wanted to. Let's come back down this way. Let's regroup here. I need to take these guys out. So, I'm hoping to get, uh, get the Elonian Adventures finished uh, before the end of the summer. That way I, we, we can start the Northern Adventures for the 11th anniversary at least for uh, Eye of the North. Because I sort of, I didn't want to start. Because what I'm going to end up doing is taking each of the, our, my three adventure heroes and starting them all at the same time to go through it. So I sort of wanted to have Zarafin complete his campaign first here. Anyway, so we're again for if we're for sort of the sake of the timeline. Because then what I'm going to do is have each of them uh, focus on one of the three main uh, legs of the uh, of, of the storyline there. So uh, one will go. One will start off going to the lands of the Azura. Another one will do. Um, the Norn stuff, and then the third one will do the Char Homelands um, stuff. Now, of course, I'm going to have, like I have here, uh, each of them are going to have the others as, as heroes along for the ride. But I'm going to going to split them up that way. That way, uh, all three of our adventuring heroes guys will still. Uh, still get some screen time, so to speak, um, as the as the main hero. So I just got to figure out whether, which I don't. I think what I'm going to do is like each episode is going to focus on one. So one episode will have Zaref in here, stay in the Char Homeland. And the next episode will be Farazin helping out the Norn. Because it all, all technically, is, I, I think the way it works technically is sort of simultaneous. Uh, even though you can do all three with one character at, you know, different... You know, get through all three with one character and then you, you, everybody comes back to the same storyline. Um, for the... For the the, the dwarven areas it's sort of uh, I think it sort of makes sense to sort of act like they're all doing it simultaneously I gotta see uh See, we've got we've got to get over there first. Which is sort of what I suspected. So 
So of course this will also give me the opportunity, doing that will also give me the opportunity for each of the heroes to uh, start Eye of the North uh, from their own campaign as well, because each each one had its own little, uh, little starter sort of uh, quest there. Which of course it all leads to the same um, same intro area. Uh, this is not where I want to be. It's not going. This is a dead end. So obviously Zarafin will be starting uh, entering the the crack that is on Istan. Farazin will be entering the one that's outside of uh, Kanang Center. And uh, Zafarin will be entering the one that is outside Lion's Edge. here yeah that's yeah there's a pass so that's where we want to go here uh, come on. all right we're gonna have to fight these guys I'm hoping to avoid some battles here just so we can get there and just get the exploration done Kill a bunch of elementals. Oh, but joy of joys, we got two more here. down in this area because there was a quest there so we don't need to go down in that area we did the northern end as far as I uh, know here so that's cleared out I think there's a bridge I'm, I'm gonna I think I'll head up there just to play it safe because we gotta come up 
to the north anyway. And let's see how far we can get that way. Somebody's fighting somebody there. You know what? I forgot about that chest. It goes running up to a chest. I don't think I unlocked the chest. Oh well. Not too concerned about that anyway. Alright, these guys are just gonna have to it there. It could be all night just trying to avoid the battles. It'll be simpler just to fight them. Healing him seriously. Your sorcerer, how are you healing him? Thank you. Far up can we okay, I didn't think we can go up all that way. I don't think we can cross that bridge either. Definitely gotta wait for these groups to split. Everybody freaking aggroed now. Alright, so we're gonna have to run here. Too late. Yeah, everybody's dying now. Hello? Now, Cora, for the love of God, get over here. Nope. Let's get over here. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> some of these uh, spawns and patrols, man. Aggravating. Face down in the dirt.
And we still have to go collect Acolyte Jin here. Where is she at? Of course, way over there, naturally. The top core should be able to get her. Alright, that's it. Come on. Come on, let's just go up this way. Guess we'll be going down this way first. Oh, there's a chest. Now I do have. Yes, I do. So we can avoid this battle at all costs. Although we'll probably end up having to fight them anyway. section up here isn't there ah oh, yeah we might, yeah that might be that might be the uh, 1.8 percent we're looking for Jenner and two freed souls oh, and they're monks too how lovely I'll talk to you guys momentarily here let's do some mapping Generating the poison outcrops. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, the soul devouring Morganite threat. Once we're headed for, the, we'll root them out. All right, so we're gonna have to root out some Morganites here. Again, again. Okay, so let's see what Jenner has to say here. Uh, okay, growing threat. Uh, let's get moving. Those Morganites aren't just gonna give up without a fight. Uh, we gotta head up there. That's not what we're looking for. Troy Soling, Margaret Nitro, three or five groups. Oh, good. Two groups already gone. Nice. That's always helpful. Forgot about that chest again. There's another chest and I ran right past it. 
Holy vey, I didn't even look to see if it was down here. You know, because I, yeah, I was trying to avoid that group, that's why. There's no avoiding these groups now. So you gotta go up that way anyway. Where's that chest at? We're still coming back this way. That doesn't matter because with that thing right there, we're gonna end up aggroing them anyway. Quest failed. I don't know, I guess not. Jenner doesn't have to survive. Well, that's good news. Jenner is probably the one we have to get the quest reward from. happening they're fighting each other let them fight each other That's what I say Y'all weaken.
Taking us further away from where we need to be. I don't think I can get up there now. I think I can get there from there. I think I have to go across here. No, I can't. I have to be able to get there from there. Yep, so we gotta go that way. Five to give us a little bit more. Ooh, no chesty anyway. All right. Another freed soul, huh? What? Oh, one of five. I was about to say, huh? I had three of five before. That's how many we have remaining. Alright, one group left now. Okay. I'm lost. I'm lost. There we go. Of course, it's the area where I most do not want to be here. Too late. 
Groot. The Doodle, Mrs. Wyler must be home, thank goodness. Alright, this should be the final group, yes it is indeed. Thank you, I will aid you in your fight. Well, our fight is over with. Yes, of course, we have to, we, ha we have to be rewarded by Jenna over in the ruptured heart. Of course we do. Well, with any luck, he's right over on the other side. I could have saved myself some agony again if I had just decided to fight some battles instead of avoiding them. Oh, sounds like the children are still awake. <laughs> Well, first things first, let's finish the poison outcrops here. Come on. 
Hey, well, it's a big chunk cleared out here. Come on, there's a little bit. Alright, this is going to... We are going to have to focus on you. Alright, let's get in the form. And rock and roll. I'll take aggro with you, no problem. Oi, I'm dead. This didn't work out too well. Believable. I don't think we killed any single one of them. avoiding them till we can at least get the mapping done here yeah no thanks Never mind, we're out uh, growing. Oy vey! Now the other group is going to add uh, right now. And everybody dies again. Yeah, there we go. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. We gotta love it. And of course, that's not activated. So we're gonna res all the way back there again. Gotta love the over aggro. Thanks, Arena Net.
Let's see about machine arm half clearing here. Let's run this way. That worked out better. Of course, that's probably the one spot we got to go to to clear out any more fog, I'll bet ya. There we go, we got that bit cleared out anyway. way too. What do you know about that? I think if I need to go up there. I don't think I need to go up there. 98.6. So we're still 1.4% away from cartographer and we've got Pretty much everything cleared out. It's hard to believe that there's 1.4% of the tombs, but there may be. So I guess I'm gonna have to hit the dynastic tombs a few times here. Oh, of course, not being able to do the arena, I think, cost us uh, one or two tenths. You did get that. See if there's anything else we may have left behind. I think there is. I think we pretty much got everything now. Might as well head up that way then. Just to make sure. Then we'll be able to rock and roll. Into the realm of torment. Yep, I go. We'll burn you with fire. we still have to go complete our quest too, don't we? So I head up in this corner, see if there's anything up in this area that will clear out. Maybe nab us another tenth. Like I said, I think I was up here. Excuse me, I'm only interested in that area. 
Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm gonna let's run back to the portal and see if we can look out here. And have Jenner on the other side. He had to die. Of course he did. Yeah, there. Maybe if he's not, if he's back in his usual position, I might see if I can just run to him. See how far I get. Yeah, he's back there, isn't he? All right. Still, our best bet might be just to run to him. So let's do it. Run, run, Zelda Finn. This ought to be very interesting. How many fights can we avoid? How many mobs can we avoid? So far, so good. This might actually work out the way I'm hoping it will work out. I believe it will. Excellent. Scrape right by, scrape right by, look at that, nice. There we go, alright. Here, take this, I found it on the bodies of those foul monsters we killed. Maybe you can pay your taxes with it, huh? Huh, huh, oh, nice, some light bringer points and all that good stuff too. Boom, and that's it. We're good to go. So just, a, just that one quest, which I think... More than likely, then we need to uh, go to prophecies in order to activate. But otherwise, it's uh, that's it. We are good to go. Everything mapped. I don't think there's anything else in the poison. I don't think we can get down here in the poison outcrops. Shattered ravines. We've been there, right? Yep. 
That's it. We're good to go. So it looks like it's just the dynastic tombs. See if I can do some mapping in there at some point. In the meantime, that's it for us tonight, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Battery, for uh, the uh, 12 months of subbing to me as an affiliate. I forgot to shout Battery out earlier. Let me shout him out now. Thanks for the host as well, Battery H. Yes, we're fine. Thanks for hanging out, RTR, as well, and everybody else who was out there lurking away. It is much appreciated. We'll be back again. Got some more streams coming up this week. Check the channel feed for the exact times and dates. Because I don't remember them off the top of my head right now. Um, and like I said, if I can add one or two more to get some more Guild Wars episodes in, uh, I will try. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. In the meantime, this is BJ Waller saying thanks for watching. This episode of the Elonian Adventures, everyone. We'll be back again soon. Be sure to check all our adventure Guild Wars adventure series out and more on our YouTube channel. And uh, also, uh, let's not forget our RMG gaming store we have now. We're going to pick up some uh, nice merchandise uh, sporting uh, our RMG gaming logo. As well as original artwork and photography by myself and Aaron Hype. And uh, there's more on the way. More coming, hopefully. I just uh, just uploaded some stuff for the classic Real Millennium Group logo as well. So hopefully that gets approved. And uh, we can sell some of that stuff too. In the meantime, thanks everyone. We'll see you next time. Until next time, I'll see everybody in game.